Hi, I'm Andrew Parkinson, Editor-in-Chief of Cruising World Magazine, and I'm here with Erwin de Villepois. He is the Product Marketing Manager for Fontaine Peugeot. And we are on a very exciting new model here. This is the Fontaine Peugeot Tana 47. For those of you that might know, the Tana 47 just won the 2023 Boat of the Year Award for Best Cruising Multi-Hull. So this is a very exciting boat for us to be on. Erwin, thanks for joining me today. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this wonderful boat here. What type of cruiser was this boat designed for? First, you have to know that it is a uh, private people who buy generally that type of boat. It is a, a formidable boat. I mean, it's easy to maneuver that type of boat alone or just with two people on board. Here, it is the situation. The owners of this boat have a family and use that boat as uh, a cruising uh, formidable boat. A cruising platform. Yeah. Now, this is a large cat, but it's not unmanageable. It feels like a very manageable sized cat at yeah. the same time. Easy to maneuver. Everything is centralized. All the maneuver is centralized at the helm station. Great. And one of the things I really like about it, it just doesn't feel overwhelming. The sailability of this boat, it, it's a very good cruising catamaran, but at the same time, it's a very good performance catamaran too. And we'll show you more of that later. Um, Erwin, should we go inside and take a look? Yeah, sure. All right. So here we are. I'm yeah. feeling very comfortable right now. Yeah. And part of the reason is we're on this nice little ergonomic uh, meridian area, as you call it. Exactly. Which kind of doubles as a, a helm watch station, right, when you're watch, underway? Exactly. When you are there during the night or bad weather, you can uh, control all the boat with a tablet. You can connect it just there and uh, you control everything. And through the skylight windows, you can check the sails. So it's safe, you have a good view, a 360 view. And that really speaks to the sailability uh, with guests and crew. So you're never really isolated. You're always where you need to be comfortably sailing the boat. Exactly. And we are on, you've got two different models for this for stateroom layouts. There's a three stateroom version and a five stateroom version. Exactly. We're on the Quintet, which is the five stateroom version, Yeah. which also has five private heads. Is that right? Exactly. Each cabin has their own heads. And it is on that size of boat, it's unique because Usually, the middle cabin use a daily head. Here, that cabin have its own head. Now, this is a great sailing boat, mm. um, great family cruising boat. Mm. It's also a very autonomous boat. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the autonomy. I know there's a bunch of solar panels up, up top there. Uh, you've done some really cool things here. Tell me more about that. Regarding the solar panel, we try to uh, integrate them in the roof. When you see the boat from outside, you don't see them, but they are there. So you have uh, 1,700 watts, totally integrated. So it allows to use the boat uh, during the day. You can run uh, the electronics, fridge, freezer, and it maintains always the batteries on the top level. And with the solar panels combined with a water maker, the large refrigeration, it really makes a fantastic cruising boat as well as a liveaboard boat. Yeah, exactly. You can live on board, and we have a lot of clients to use their boat. They cross the Atlantic or the micro complete tour around the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, it, it is typically the, the boat uh, well adapted for that type of program. One of the pieces de resistance of this boat, I understand, is on the flybridge. Um, let's go check that out and we yeah. can talk more about it up there. Yeah, sure. So here we are at the helm station and you really get a sense of what we were talking about before, the, the, the ease of sailing. Exactly. You know, everything yeah. is right where you need it. I'm, I'm here at the helm. I've got the autopilot right here. This is a nice driving pod. We've got another line handling pod here with Irwin ready to handle yeah. the lines if we need. Or if I wanted to do it by myself, all I have to do is step around here and I'm right there. So exactly. it's it's a really well thought out layout. Yeah. Um, I can yeah. certainly see yeah. how this would be great for yeah. a single hander or even you know two people yeah. uh, comfortably. In total comfort, I mean, we separate the helm station in these two parts. So mm -hmm. here you control the boat, you are the captain, mm -hmm. and here you maneuver the boat. Everything is centralized. Here you have the Genoa sheet. It can be the reef, it can be the topping leaf, the uh, traveler. Everything is here. Mm -hmm. So uh, easy to maneuver. And excellent lines of sight, I'm not obstructed by anything. Mm -hmm. And talking about the performance aspect, we see trial this boat for the boat of the mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. up in Annapolis. And I've got to tell the viewers here, 
We were in 13 knots of breeze on a beam reach, and this boat did eight knots, which is a pretty incredible number mm -hmm. for, a, for a catamaran at that, it, at that angle. It is in our DNA. We try to find the good balance between comfort and performance. Mm -hmm. Not so easy, mm -hmm. because you know on the market, you have boats that are focused on comfort, right. others in performance, and we try to... And when you try to cover both, sometimes exactly. you have to sacrifice something, but I feel like that hasn't really happened on this boat. You've, we you've been able to include <laughs> everything you needed to here. <laughs> And now as far as the owner aspect, when you're maneuvering, say, tight quarters in a, in a marina or something like yeah. that, I know we've got this awesome flybridge right here. Um, what's the visibility like? How, how, do you, how do you navigate a marina? Here, it's quite easy because uh, here, when you maneuver the boat at the marina, you do not touch the wheel, you mm -hmm. just use the throttle. Mm -hmm. And here, when you are there, you can see, of course, the long side here, mm -hmm. but also the corner at the back here through the, the ladder and also the other corners in the front. So you can control the four corners. So very easy to place and maneuver the boat at the right place. Very important. It takes a lot of the stress out of docking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we've been talking about space on this boat. One of the high points of that that really illustrates it is right up here on the flybridge. Now, this is the Tana 47. The predecessor was the Sayona 47. Exactly. And we're sitting on the flybridge, which I understand is two times larger than the flybridge on the Sayona. Exactly. Here, the flybridge, uh, we would love to, to call it launch deck because there's no ham station there. So the launch deck is more, uh, is longer, goes more at the back. The pillar, we move the pillar to support that Bimini more at the back. So it allows to double the area and integrate also the solar panel. And in addition to all this cozy living space up here, there's a great connection to the helm. So exactly. whoever's at the helm or crewing, mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're separated. You feel like you're right there in the, in the mix. Conviviality. Well, Erwin, what a beautiful boat. Thank you for taking the time to show it to us today. Thank you. And congratulations again on the Boat of the Year Award. Well-deserved, well-earned, best cruising catamaran for 2023. It means a lot for Fontaine Pajot. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Erwin. And uh, we're signing off for Cruising World Magazine. I'm Andrew Parkinson.